Welcome back to Anatomy of the Car. If you know the drill by now, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any of this new content. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the goat's head. But to tell you the story of the goat's head properly, we need to talk about how it got its name. So we're going to be talking about computer-aided design, finite element analysis, and topological optimization. Stay with me, it's going to be okay. So Bloodhound here is physical, we started to build it, but the first time it came to life was actually inside a computer. Bloodhound was completely built in a virtual environment before we started to make the parts properly. And that's a computer-aided design environment. So physically, all the parts are in there and their properties are set, so you can actually start to look at how the car can perform. The performance part of it is the finite element analysis, where you actually build up a part or an assembly, put real world loads into it, and start to see how it's going to work. A great example here is some of the work that was done on the uprights. Different load conditions that you can see the load increasing, and ultimately it led to some concerns about a radius on one part of the upright. You can see it in red. Very simply in this case, that was fixed by just increasing the radius to soften that edge, and then the part worked, it was released, and we went ahead and had it made. But some of the further tools in this area is something called topological optimization. So Mother Nature is the ultimate topological optimization. The roots of a tree only grow where the tree needs them to grow to support it. And we've borrowed from nature within engineering to start to look at that as a tool to actually create guidance for designs. And that's how the goat's head got its name. So in topological optimization, you start with a rough design, you put in the loads, and in this case you can see the upper wishbones, the lower wishbones, the pull rod loads, all these real world loads went into this optimization process, and then the computer eats away the material that isn't doing a reasonable amount of work. So anything that's waste, that isn't working hard to deliver all these loads, gets eaten away. And when the guys ran that computer process, what came out looked spookily like a goat skull, hence the name, the goat's head. Next time I'll walk you through how the front suspension itself works and the full setup. But don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any of this new content. Let me leave you with this one thought. Doesn't this top mount for this end of the front wishbone look a bit like a face? You can't not see it now, can you? See you next time.